Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your friendly retoucher and photographer, DL Samuels. And in this video, we're gonna cover setting up for frequency separation or FS for short. Frequency separation is not my go-to when it comes on to retouching images. It's the method that I use when I just wanna quickly retouch an image and put it up on social media. However, if the image is going for print, dodge and burning is a way to go. Future videos are going to be up about dodge and burning, so stick around, subscribe to my channel. I will greatly appreciate the support, and let's just get into it right now. So to set up the frequency separation, frequency separation essentially you split the texture from the tones, the skin tones, and then you edit accordingly to that. And that's that's just how simple it is, guys. So the first step is to duplicate the background layer. You can do so by dragging the background to this icon down here or shortcut, control J, control J two times, duplicate the background layer. Easy, if you're using a Mac, it's command J, I think. I'm not a Mac user, I'm a Windows guy. And we're gonna name the top layer texture and the bottom layer tones. I'm gonna make the top layer invisible for a minute. So in order to set up the tones layer, we need to put on a blur effect on the image. So where we go, we go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. So we want a, 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 a figure, a number that is not high like this, for example, that is way too much, but we want it just enough that that texture in the skin gets blurred out just a bit. Personally, for me, anywhere between five and seven is a great sweet spot. So for me right now, it's, let's call it 6.2 and that's it. That's it guys done right there <laughs> then we make the top layer which is a texture layer visible and then we're gonna subtract the texture from this part of the image and how do we do that we go to image and then apply image and here are the settings for an 8-bit image you want to know if your image is an 8-bit or 16-bit see this figure right here that's how you know 8 16 for the layer you put it down to tones for blending mode subtract and the scale to the offset 2.8 ensure that invert is unchecked for those that have a 16-bit image check that invert you put the scale at two, offset of zero, and the blending mode should be add. So let me put it back to a bit. Press OK. And I know you're gonna say it looks like a half pass filter. That's essentially what it is but they secure the details so that you can see all the detail, that skin detail, the hat detail, all the details you want. Change the blending mode from normal to linear light. And that's it. We can group them. Call it frequency set. We're going to take another step forward, guys, and that is by duplicating the tones and the texture layer, okay? And we're going to do a clipping mask onto the texture layer. And if you notice when I did a clipping mask, the image got sharper. We don't want that. So you're going to change the blending mode to normal. Same with the tones, you create a clipping mask and that's it. So instead of 
doing all of your 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 brushing or your removing of any bumps or anything else on the initial layer that you have created you can do it on this where you can toggle it on and off you can delete it and start over you can turn on the the opacity of each layer and you'll be fine let's talk about brush brush is an important tool when it comes on to doing frequency separation i usually use a mixer brush don't know what a mixer brush is it's this right here if you can't find your mixer brush you go to edit and go down to toolbar find where your brushes are usually if it's not over here you'll find it somewhere over this side the extra tools and you just drag it over simple as that press done there's a there's a mixer brush the settings that i usually use for my mixer brush is wet 30 percent load 30 percent mix 20 percent and flow 20 percent so there you have it guys thank you for watching in my next video i'm going to edit an image slowly using frequency separation so remember to subscribe if you want to see that next video um comment below i'll greatly appreciate the support and thumbs up if you like this video thumbs up if you don't if you have any recommendation for what you'd want my next video to be or my next next video since my next video is going to be about editing and frequency separation please leave a comment in the description below thank you once again and i'll see you again <laughs>